I want to ask you, first of all, today, have you and your attorneys produced internally the materials responsive to the subpoenas? Uh, we believe that we have responded to the subpoena. No, Mr. Attorney General, you're not a good witness. A good witness answers the question asked. So let's go back again. Have you and your attorneys produced internally the materials responsive? In other words, have you taken the time to look up our subpoena and find out what material you have responsive to it, or you've simply invented a privilege that doesn't exist? You're saying internally. Have we internally, have you sure. pulled all that information? We've looked at 240 custodians, we have processed millions of electronic records, and we've reviewed over 140,000 documents and produced to you about 7,600. So, 140,000 documents, how many documents are responsive but you are withholding at this time? Well, we've produced 7,600. The Look, I don't want to hear about the 7,600. Chairman, I would beg to the, allow... You, the lady the is out of order. Would the lady uh, Mr. please... Mr. Chairman, and parliamentary my inquiry. Time. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, I would beg to allow the Attorney General to be able to finish uh, the, his answer. The, during a transcribed interview, Deputy Assistant, uh, Attorney General, Deputy Assistant Attorney General Jason Weinstein testified that senior officials approving the wiretap applications do not read the right wiretap applications. Is this practice acceptable to you? They read summaries of the applications. That is a process that has been used by this administration and by all previous administrations. It is the way in which the Office of Enforcement... And, and are, you aware uh, that, are you aware that federal, you know, federal you judges, to your knowledge... Can I answer my question, the question you've asked? No, you've, you've given me a sufficient answer considering the amount of questions I have and the amount of time I have. So when Congress writes a statute that requiring certain individuals be responsible, such as Jason Weinstein, Lanny Brewer, and yourself... Regular order, Mr. Chairman. No. Reg you've regular order, Mr. Chairman. I'm in the, the middle of a question. The, the Attorney General will be allowed to answer this question. Yeah, and, I, answer, and ask the question, I'm, Mr. I'm halfway through it if you'll quit interrupting. The previous questioning uh, was the first note of... Uh, hostility and interruption of the witness that I think has been uncharacteristic of what we've been doing here so far today. You know, I appreciate that there was hostility between the Attorney General and myself. Now, I, would well, hope that the, the I would hope that the ranking member would understand record, that, that, in fact, most of it was produced by it. the fact that I have a great many questions and a relatively little period of time in which to get answers, and that for a year and a half, my committee, through subpoena and interrogatories, has been attempting to get answers for which this witness has basically said he asserts a privilege without, pa without parliamentary a inquiry, law. Mr. Chairman. Well, the uh, gentleman from Michigan has the time. Parliamentary inquiry, if the gentleman Can I just make what, what, uh, I, 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 With all due respect to... Uh, Chairman Issa, uh, he says there's hostility between us. I don't feel that, you know. I understand he's asking questions. I'm trying to respond as best I can. I'm not feeling hostile at all. I'm, I'm pretty calm. I'm okay. So, uh <laughs>